very rewarding. You get to meet a lot of people in the community that um, aren't always out and about in the community. Um, a lot of the folks um, can't make it to the library and it's important that they have the same access that everyone else does. I think it's so interesting that we're doing the same thing with every person. Every person has the same homebound service and the same service from the library, but all of them, it's as different, the way we deliver is as different as their personalities. I very much enjoy the interaction with the people uh, when I go to their homes and many of them act very like they're very much looking forward to the stop um, from the library and to have someone come in their home and visit with them for a little while. This is more one-on-one. -on -one. This is more like you're my friend, you're getting me my books, you're, you're my, my personal shopper. So I think just that personal touch kind of, it, it makes it more rewarding. I love getting to know the people. Uh, it, that's just very, very special. We've been doing Homebound since around 1973. Um, Red Carpet actually started as Homebound only. Um, there was a woman who used to use the library um, who then could no longer come in. And so friends of hers decided that they would take her books. And then from that um, came our homebound service, a volunteer group that would work out of the trunks of their cars and they would gather books for their friends or people who couldn't get to the library of Bookmobile and they would take books directly to their home. So we've been doing homebound from the very beginning, so around 1973. One of the most enjoyable aspects of working in Red Carpet and delivering a homebound route is the opportunity to meet many interesting people. We have the chance to get to know them in a special way and keep them connected to their library and community. One of the ladies that is really fun to visit with each time is Neva. She's 102 and actually um, I was invited to her 100th birthday party a couple years ago and that was really a fun event and it's amazing to see somebody who's lived so long and experienced so many different things over the years. She is a fabulous lady. The stories never end. She's the type of woman you like to share things with. She always has stories about her life experiences. She's had a lot of them in 102 years, and she's one of my favorite patrons to call on. She is sharper than I am, I think. I mean, she is on top of it and has the greatest memory and likes to chat. She doesn't take books. She normally takes movies, and her favorite movies are the Bang Bang shoot 'em ups as she calls them. <laughs> it's somebody that you wish lived next door because she's just a delight to visit with and I know Deb enjoys her time with her too and she doesn't get Meals on Wheels so she doesn't have that daily contact so I think we offer a vital service to her not only with the materials we bring but just being a friend to her. She really enjoys that time. Cindy really gets to know her people. I mean she she is one lady that she'll spend half hour, hour on the phone with every, every two weeks and she knows small details about their life and I mean that's just who she is. She, she just doesn't want to be, uh, hey here's your books. She wants to be a part of their life. She wants, she wants to know everything that's going on and she wants to do the best job that she can. She's a very compassionate person so she has no problem, you know, giving her customers the extra attention they may need, um, whether it be on the phone or when she does get to go out. Cindy um, is a very caring woman. She really relates to the people that she uh, does polling for and contacts on the telephone and um, take, takes her 
her role in their lives very seriously. She's just a really nice, sweet person who everybody seems to relate to. Nobody could not like Cindy. During her time at the library and in Red Carpet, Cindy has established close relationships with many of her homebound patrons, including Dorothy. Oh, what a sweetheart. She's been on my delivery route the whole time that I've had homebound, and she is one of the happiest people I've ever met. And I know her health isn't always the best, but you would never know by the way she answers the phone. She's so sweet. She um, takes books every time, and sometimes she has ideas from her friends, and sometimes she has me pick out things for her. If not for the homebound service offered by the library, Dorothy would not be able to receive books because she has difficulty walking and could not come to the library on her own. Now I have Parkinson's disease, and I can't be on my feet any time at all, and I can take no steps alone. She um, is always just very pleased and pleasant when I show up at her door. Dorothy looks forward to her time with Cindy and Deb and appreciates the service they provide for her. I tell you, Cindy calls me once a week. And all I need to tell her now is how many books I need. And she just knows what I want. And Debbie, comes at the same time, just about the same time, every week. I sure appreciate the service. We really enjoy our time visiting with Dorothy. She's very nice and she loves her books.